yo, 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 check it out. Something just fell off the FedEx truck. It is a brand new Happy Game gaming chair. This bad boy has been on the Amazon market for a couple of weeks. So I'm very fortunate and uh, honored to be able to do a review for you guys. Uh, I'm going to put it together and then I'll be back and show you what I think about it and let y'all see what it looks like. <laughs> guys we're back and I'm gonna to try to do this a little bit different that way hopefully you guys can get a full view of the chair um, it took me literally about 30 minutes to put this chair together and after looking at the chair and sitting in it and going over the differences in this chair and in regular chairs that you find on Amazon I have to tell you this is probably one of my favorite chairs that I've done a review for and I will tell you guys why. First off, I'm gonna show you the chair. It is a black chair. It is just a black chair. Let's see if I can get it in there. It is a black chair from Happy Game. Black with this double red stitching right here. It is so stealthy and murdered out looking that it's crazy. Uh, the only thing that I would have maybe done different is maybe I would have done the Happy Game stitching in red. Uh, I would have left this one, and I would have took this one off, and I would have took the one out of the bottom lumbar. I would have took it off. Uh, this here, you know, as you guys know, most gaming chairs are made of that, like, faux leather. It's got real that uh, crazy, like, oily smell. This chair here is actually made, not, made out of, like, woven, uh, breathable, breathable, uh, breathable, uh, good night, breathable. Is it, is it breathable? Breathable breathable material uh, it's not made out of that like faux leather this is like actually a material that is very breathable and it i don't think it'll make you sweat like the faux leather will um it has the armrests that go up and down the 2d armrest let me see if i can put this camera down a little bit show you a little bit more about the chair but it's got the 2d the 2d armrest to go up and down swivel in swivel out and of course you come around to the side the side has like this carbon fiber material on the sides. It goes all the way down the sides and it runs on the sides along here and it's along the back. And then they've got their big, awesome Happy Gaming logo. I don't know why they hide their logo in the back. If it was me, I would put that logo dead center right here. And then I would have the Happy Game logo up top here. And I would get rid of this logo and I'd get rid of this one. See, see to me, because it's there's too many logos on the front of this chair. Uh, I, I, to me, I think it's a little bit overkill as far as the logo goes, but that's just me personally. Um, but like I say, this logo on the back is really is really nice. It's stitched in the back of this uh, like carbon fiber uh, material. Like I say, I would have put that logo dead center in the middle of this chair. And I would have got rid of this logo and this logo and left this happy game up here. All right, enough of that stuff. Of course, this thing tilts, uh, the back tilts, uh, the bottom, you can rock it with all that. You can do like most normal gaming chairs. You can do all that crap, guys, that most gaming chairs can do. Um, and another thing, this has this is all metal construction. It has the... Um, CGS gas shock, which is like better than standard, and the shock that goes on the bottom. Another thing that this chair has got that other chairs don't have, the actual frame down here that the wheels go in. I didn't have that locked apparently. This, this down here that the rollers go in, that is actual metal. Most of these gaming chairs, they're plastic, and they don't last very long. So I like the fact that this is metal. The bottom part of the roller, the bottom part that the wheels go up in is actual metal. That whole bottom base is metal. And another thing, it's got a four inch uh, cushion through here. And as you guys can see, you know how they've got like these bat wings on the side that come up in the gaming chairs? And most of them come up like four or five inches and they really grind into your, into your thighs. If you're a big guy, you don't want that. Happy Game does like a two inch two inch shallow uprise, like a mini bat wing. Is that, that's what I call, I call them bat wings, they're crazy looking. But anyway, I'm a big guy. And they, I mean, 
You're talking about sitting and gaming for hours upon hours in this nice, breathable material. And then on, have that nasty faux leather where you're going to sit there and you'll be sweating and you're going to have swamp booty time you get up from gaming because it's so freaking hot where you are. Uh, but like I say, it goes up, it goes down, it lays back, all that crap like the other ones do. Uh, I never use none of that. The only thing that this one doesn't have, this one doesn't have the leg rest. And I'm glad it doesn't have the leg rest because I never use the leg rest. Uh, I, I mean, I'm gaming. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to lay back and recline and go to sleep. But yeah, I mean, like I say, the armrest up and down, swivel in and out. Like I said, this has a weight capacity of 350 pounds. All metal construction. I, that's what that's what sells me about all metal construction. Uh, most of these gaming chairs, the bottom where the rollers go, that whole bottom base is plastic. This one is metal. Uh, this chair come out, I think, in June, around June the 18th. So it's been on the market roughly a month. Um, and it's it's very affordable. It's 150 bucks. It's 150 dollars. Like I said, you get the all you get the all metal construction. You get the breathable material. Yes, I said breathable that time. I got it right. You get the breathable material. You get the comfortability. You get the sturdiness. You can sit here and game for hours. Like I said, if you want to sit back and relax, you want to recline and do all that, this chair will do it. I'm not going to do it because, like I said, you guys need a forklift to come pick my very big butt up. But I definitely recommend if you guys are if you guys are bigger like me, uh, like I say, most gaming chairs, like I say, they have this like four inch or five inch rise on each side, bat wings as I call them. And dude, if you're big and you're spread out like me, they grind into your thighs. You don't want that. And this chair doesn't have that. It has like a low rise on each side, very low, as you can tell, very low. That is one of the main features I like about it, that and the all metal construction. But overall, like I said, it's just a solid black with the double red pinstriping and stitching on each side. Very stealthy, murdered out. I think they just went overboard with putting their Happy Game logo on it. That's the, that's the only criticism I can say is you guys put your logo on the front of this chair way too much. I don't think that you need to have your logo on the pillow since you have it etched in the top of the headrest right here. You've got it here. You don't need it there, and you don't need it there. And another thing, William at Happy Game, that logo that you got on the back of this chair right here, buddy, put that logo... Put that logo dead center, that way people can see it. Like when you do these reviews and stuff, people can see that logo. I understand you put it on the back side. I understand you put it on the back side so people on the back can see it. That's, you know, coming up from behind you, but I think it, might, it would make the game, it make the gaming chair look better. But overall, the chair is awesome. I love the design. That's the only thing I can say that I don't like is they, you guys did go overkill on the logos in the, on, in the, the lumbar and the headrest pillow. That's, that's the only thing I can say about it. As far as construction and durability, it's very durable. It's very sturdy. Like I say, I weigh 347 pounds, and I've been sitting in it, playing with it, leaning back in it uh, before I ever started filming. And it's a great chair. For the money, 150 bucks. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. Uh, get a hold of me. I might be able to get you a discount code. Uh, maybe get you 10 or 15% off. Just holler at me. Let them know. Make sure you leave a thumbs up. God bless you guys, and we will catch you all later.